grades were really important to me and um and i was able to maintain those pretty well things are a little different in college and you learn that pretty quickly i was kind of dropping the ball and in, in a few different classes and things weren't looking very good for me i think i at one point had like um, maybe a D in one class and then a low C in another. So it was almost looking like I wasn't going to be able to compete in track and field. So it was becoming a real issue for me. Um, and that was when I learned how important it is to get in connection with your professors quickly and, um, yeah, just talk them through the situation, make sure they understand where you're at. And like nine times out of 10, they really, really do want to help you. So in high school, you had never gotten a C or a D or an F. No, I, I had a 4.0 in high school. So it was, it was a much different situation for me. And when you were struggling, did you tell your parents? Did you get embarrassed? I mean, how long did it take for you to talk to your professors? I'm always pretty transparent with my parents and they knew what was going on. And it was actually my mom who suggested to me, you know, being, being an alumni, she said, Hey, you should really talk to your professors. <laughs> like they do want to help you. And so I took her advice. I went in during his office hours and I just kind of, uh, I just kind of unloaded my situation to him a little bit, told him that things were hard for me at the moment. And I just felt like I was kind of spreading myself too thin. And I was really just uh, struggling in his class and a few others. And he was super understanding with me. Yeah. He started saying like, this isn't uncommon. This happens to so many different students and it's good that you're in here talking to me because we can start to fix it now. I ended up with like a B plus in that class, which is pretty, a pretty significant difference between a D and a B plus. So why were you struggling? Like what was so hard for you? Sophomore year and, and junior year are notorious for being the hardest um, for engineers. So it was really just kind of like I came into the semester expecting it to be like it was the year before. And it, it just wasn't, it was a whole whole new beast. So it was partly my own expectations that failed me in that respect. 